I'm dead.
then I'll risk the trip. So over today. I can't even remember what made me come to the zone in the first place. And now I can't see the point of going back to the mainland. I'm looking for Sauter. Nope. Talk to Gaffer. That's him over there. What do you want? Sit down and stay out of sight. Three of my men never reported back from their overnight patrol around the Lesser Zone. We found their bodies by the old bridge. Hey, soldier, over here. Now, what do you call three dead wardens up the zone's ass? A good start. <laughs> <laughs> right? A traitor who goes by hamster is peddling this service weapon. It belonged to one of those wardens. He got it from Squint. Apologies, Captain, but Zalicia is a free trade zone. We have an agreement with Korshnov. Where is Squint? 
zone has its share of secrets. Who are we to meddle in its designs? Playing a wizened stalker sage, are you? Fine. Squint was there for sure. He finished off the wounded and looted their bodies. Is that the stalker way now? Who am I to judge? If you won't tell me, others will. Seize them! Easy now. Nobody's going anywhere. If you don't want the innocent to suffer, find me the culprit. Well then, in times of war, the law falls silent. Hey, Stalker. Must have been you here. Come over here. Let's have a chat. That's how we're all here in Zalicia. Us maniacs are gonna drink all my vodka in the street. If anyone asks, I'm at home and busy. Anyone at all? Anyone. Don't buy into that whole dog and pony show, rookie. Gaffer's been uppity, cause it's out of Latsin. If Korshinov was here instead of him, would have been standing against the wall already. The captain prefers a more diplomatic approach. So, who should I ask about Sodder? Try Zodov. The ward can find anyone you want as long as you can cut a deal with them and you're okay with their methods. Or you could ask Gaffer. Just give him some time to get to his house. He's an easy going guy. He usually helps rookies out, but he's had to deal with a year's worth of crap today. See ya. Good luck. First drinks on the house if you need it. And I get the feeling you're gonna need it. Gaffer is a good man. I've been with him since we made our way here from the Cordon. We took on the modeling for the sphere together. I helped him defend Zalisa and got this bar up and running. But there's one thing he doesn't quite get, stubborn old fool. Risking everyone to save one guy is gonna get you all killed. But he is still willing to risk it all. Here, I serve the wardens just as well as I serve loners, because I've learned my lesson. And the Gaffer's gonna learn it too, sooner or later. I don't feel like running errands. Got anything good? You still smell like the mainland, tough guy. Feeling bold and audacious already, huh? All right. There's a guy, kind of like you, who owes me some coin. His name is Vali Klumx. I need my money back. What kind of man is this Vali Klumx guy? He's new to the zone, but he already made a name for himself. This one sharp asshole, not afraid of risks, always full of white plants. Kinda liked the guy, thought he would go far. He went too far, got himself a new gun, and I'm still mopping about how to set him straight. How much does he owe you? Plenty. Failed to pay up after a wild night. For some supplies before that, too. And he doesn't seem to give a damn. Knows I'm not gonna make you fuss about it. It's not about the money, really. The kid needs to learn the ways of the zone. The sooner he learns, the longer he lives. Maybe. 
Sure. I can handle it. I saw him just a couple of hours ago. He headed north, towards the water tower. I don't want his blood on my hand, though. Just scare the kid, shake him down, and get my money. And that's it. 20% is yours. Believe it or not, here's what went down. Beware of campfires at night, especially the ones deep in the zone. Especially if there's no one around but you. Folks have found corpses, cold already. And weirdly, the safety on their guns was on, and their faces were just... Anywho, don't sit at them campfires. Better to stay in the dark. Hey, stalker! He gave me Come the over here, We need to talk. Here's the deal. I'm ready to pass some stalker wisdom onto you. Right here, right now, and totally free of charge. Interested? Who could turn down such a generous offer? I'm all ears. Back on the mainland, Mom and Dad were the most important people in the world, right? But here in the zone, it's the tech and the trader. And their love comes with a price tag. Loot or coupons. Got it? I take it the trader peddles goods. What about the tech? In the zone, the quickest way to figure out how something works is to try it out. An enemy gets a bullet, an anomaly gets a bolt, and a trader gets a little conversation. Here are the coordinates for our tech, Lens, and Hamster the trader. Chat them up. If you've got coupons, Buy something. If not, check in with Warlock for a gig. He's usually got something going. One more thing. If you find yourself in a dust-up with any of the factions, pay their boss a visit. Conflict is a part of life in the zone, but there's always a way to resolve it. Always better off with a lousy piece than an awesome firefight, get it? Anyway, once you've mingled with the locals, hit the road. Just don't bother me again. No one else is gonna help you for free in this neck of the woods. Least of all me. That's it, finally. I've settled my tab with Gaffer. Now I'm off to the swamps, where I won't have to put up with green horns anymore. Aye, Stalker. All right, run along now. I know it's dangerous, but I'm offering you good money here. Sure you are. No way, man. Find yourself some other dope willing to march into certain death.
Welcome to the area, Stalker. I've got a job for you, but I should warn you. It involves going to the poppy field. The poppy field? What's that? One of the zone's most infamous wonders. Lots of people are drawn there, but few ever leave. As soon as you walk into the field, it saps your energy, making you weak and drowsy. That's where our farmstead used to be before the accident. I guess it's probably still there, but you'd have to be nuts to settle down in that place. I found my old stash a while ago. Can you believe it? I hid some stuff away 40 years ago. Way before the zone ever existed. I was a little kid, but I already had some stalker savvy about me. <laughs> I wish I'd thought of stowing something useful in there. What kind of job did you have in mind? When my parents and I were evacuated after the accident in 86, we left a family heirloom in the root cellar. An old orthodox icon. My mother, she kept talking about it until the day she died. I need to find it. I want to have at least something to remember my family by. Bring it to me, and I'll pay you the full price of an expensive artifact. I couldn't get it on my own. Do you know the root cellar's coordinates? Sorry, I don't. I know the root cellar's somewhere out there in the poppy field. But that's it. Everything's changed so much. Why can't you go look for the icon yourself? I tried. But the moment I set foot in the field, I started feeling so groggy I could barely stand. And then I started hearing voices. Some I'd never heard before. Others of those... long gone. I can't remember how I managed to get away. But I'm never going back there again. All right. I'll bring you the icon. I'd really appreciate it. Remember to stock up on energy drinks, though. The poppy field isn't that big. But you can get lost real easy. I've got the best deals in the zone. Ask anyone. Guaranteed. I never try to pull one over on the rookies like Sidor does. If anything breaks, it's because you need to take care of your gear. This stuff's not made of steel. Well, except for the things that are. <clears throat> anyway, show me what you've got. Know anything about solder? Well, if someone else had asked instead of you, I'd charge him through the nose, but... You're my friend, so I'll tell you for free. Your friend's name sounds kind of techy, so I'd wager he's a tech. They say the gaffer used to know Strelok himself, the Strelok, who went up to the center of the zone and stirred up so much shit, we're still talking about it. But the gaffer won't say a word, damn it. Then again, if I knew a dude like him, I guess I'd keep quiet too, just to stay on the safe side. Thanks. See ya. Need some help, Stalker? Well, show me what you've got.
Need some help, Stalker? Well, show me what you've got. Well, show me what you've got. Thanks. See ya. I hope you're here to talk business. I've heard you can help me find Sutter. You'll have to help me out first, Stalker. You know what I'm talking about. Squint? Exactly. Do you really think it was Squint who killed your men near the cabin? It doesn't matter what I think. If the loners decide they can kill my men with impunity, things will get ugly real quick. Rest assured, we're going to find the real killer. But in the meantime, Catching a looter who stole Ward property will suffice. Fine. What do you want me to do? Squint is a piece of shit. But as far as the locals are concerned, he's a stalker first and foremost. And he knows his way around the lesser zone. A stalker like you might have an easier time looking for him. How do I know you're not gonna screw me? We're neither hustlers nor bandits. The Ward keeps its word. Sure, the loners call us various names. But they've never accused us of scamming anyone. I want the sensor Squint took from the bodies of my men. If anything happens to him, I won't be too upset. How do I know you're not gonna screw me? So you made up your mind. I knew the Lesser Zone had its share of reasonable people. Here's the deal. I tell you what I know, and you stop harassing our guys. Sound fair? We'll see. Spill it out. I... Asked around. I think he's nearby, at the warehouse. If you send a squad there... He'll spot a squad at once. I'd rather have our friend take a look. In the meantime, I'll try to find you some answers, Stalker. I think it'd be better to send your own men, Captain. They're experienced professionals, and... Easy now, Uncle Lonia. Let's just have a seat, and wait for news from whatever place you want me to send my men so badly. You've got your order, Stalker. Good hunting. Take care out there, kid. Just in case. Take care out there, kid. Just in case.
What you want? Folks come to the zone either looking for something or running from something. But when they stay, they stay for the zone itself. So long. Hey, man. Well, here we are. Do you need anything?
Shut up, you pussy. This sucker screwed you out of your money. Debts, or I gotta leave the lesser zone for good. Thank you, Stalker. I owe you one. What's going on in here? This dope, he's a real psycho. I paid him back, you see? A couple of days late. Sure, but I did. And now he and his gang are pushing me around. You get doubles every day, he said. Like them ducks could count to three. So I thought I'd climb the tower and gun them all down. Just got a new scope to try out. Too bad I didn't have enough time. Pay up your debt to Warlock first. He promised me a cut. Ah, uh, well, I was going to pay him back, honest. Now? Fair enough. That's the right thing to do. Done. I sent the coupons. Both yours and Warlock's. Huh? Bye-bye. Come in. I just got money from Valley Clumax. Tell the little shit I said hi. Maybe I'll pour one for him later if you won't be an asshole. <laughs> anyway, thank you, sucker. Out. Ah, that's a shame. Whatever. I'm not going back to that bar. So long, stalker. See you around.
I hear your voice. 